And these are so good, guys. This is like my childhood, I feel like. my channel today's video is about food and I went to Trader Joe's bought some stuff I actually bought a lot of the recommendations you guys suggested on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram shameless plug go ahead and click that follow button over on the IG I'm gonna show you stuff that I bought this is not my favorite things from Trader Joe's that's for another video but this is stuff I bought recently. Some of the stuff is stuff I buy on a pretty regular basis. So I'm going to share that with you and kind of give you a first impressions of some stuff. Before we go any further, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I make brand new videos on my channel, just like this one. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So let's start with the stuff I have bought before, always buy, um, which honestly, I got a lot of new stuff. Trader Joe's Alaskan Sockeye Salmon, Salmon? I'm one of those people that pronounces the L now. <laughs> Sockeye Salmon, boneless filet. Uh, this is the wild caught salmon. They do have the wild caught salmon as well as the farm raised salmon. I just like the wild caught salmon because it's better for you, but if you like farm raised or you prefer that, they have that as well. These are really great. It's super easy to cut into like, I probably would cut this one into like three slices and then this one into two. So it's super easy to like meal prep and just put in the oven or the air fryer. So I don't always get these, but I went to Trader Joe's twice this past week and I got them and I love them so much I went and grabbed another bag when I went back. These are the chili spice mangoes, um, sweetened dried mango with chili seasoning. Basically, imagine mango with tahini, and this is it. And these are so good, guys. This is like my childhood, I feel like. Going and getting like the Mexican candy and like putting it on fruit. Like this is so great. And I highly, highly recommend that. I went back and I grabbed the pineapple chili spice mango as well. The guy that checked me out actually said that these were better than the mango ones. So super, super excited to try these. Let's get into seasoning super, super quick. Trader Joe's has a lot of cost effective seasonings. I bought two this time. I bought the Zatar seasoning blend. It looks like this. This has, okay, blah, 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 Middle Eastern inspired seasoning blend. It's aromatic, versatile, and about to become your favorite. Uh, sprinkle over hummus or Greek yogurt. I wasn't expecting the Greek yogurt, but we'll see. Drizzle pita bread with olive oil on top of zatar. Um, this looks really good. Toasted sesame seeds, thyme, coriander, marrow jam, marrow whatever. Chickpea, chickpea flour, sea salt, sunflower oil, and lemon oil. I would say I have been making falafel kind of quite a bit, and so I think this would be a good seasoning to incorporate into that. I also really like Middle Eastern food, so glad that I picked that one up. I actually did not read what was in there before I bought it. I just kind of bought it, so I'm glad. I'm glad that that worked out for me, at least so far. This was something that you guys suggested on Instagram. This is the Trader Joe's Organic Pure Bourbon Vanilla Extract. Essentially, I would just use this anytime I would be using regular vanilla extract. I put vanilla extract in my oatmeal when I'm baking. You guys know, there's a lot of reasons to use vanilla extract. This is vanilla bourbon, so I think it just gives it, you know, an extra flavor to it. The guy did card me when I bought this and just a disclaimer if you're watching this and you're under the age of 21 i don't know if you'll be able to actually buy this a recent love is this guys this is so good and i don't know why it took me so long to buy this but i love you and this is the trader joe's blueberry lavender flavored almond beverage i have been using this in my matcha in the morning so good it just the flavor it adds it just takes it to another level and 
it's not overly sweet. I, I'm someone that doesn't like overly sweet coffee. I don't like overly sweet matcha. I really don't like overly sweet drinks now that I think about it. And this really takes it, it takes it to where it needs to be. I've also been putting this in my um, Nespresso air frother and just putting that in my coffee. It's great. I love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I actually just bought a backup the second time I went to Trader Joe's because it's really that great. Something new that I don't, I've never gotten before, but it's funny that you guys suggested this because every time I go, I want to eat the cinnamon rolls, but I'm like, oh, I don't need that, blah, blah, blah. These are the Trader Joe's jumbo cinnamon rolls with vanilla icing. Now I will say that I'm on the cusp of making cinnamon rolls from scratch whenever I crave them only because I feel like they're not that hard to make and they probably taste a lot better and probably are a lot better for you. However, on a lazy Sunday or Saturday morning with coffee, if it's raining, get you a can of good cinnamon rolls, put them in the oven about 10 minutes later, get that coffee going. I mean, can you beat that? I'm not really sure if you can. So that's why I got these. I have a vibe in my head, like an aesthetic in my head that I'm ready for. And so I'm I'm dreaming of these cinnamon rolls and I will update you on how these are, are on my Instagram. Again, if you're not following on, me on there, you're missing a lot of, you're missing a lot of things. And I don't want you to miss all the things. So go ahead and follow me on there for any updates of food stuff. Okay, let's get into the butters. Not regular butter. Um, this is the organic creamy almond butter. I think this is relatively new. This is the one with no salt. I got the one for, with no salt for a reason. I just don't really buy almond butter that has salt in it very often. Um, so I don't really buy almond butter that has a lot of salt in it really often. Um, they do have one with salt in it though, if that's something that you prefer. It also has like only two grams of sugar, which is great, seven grams of protein. I like to put this in my smoothies and I also really like apples and almond butter for a snack. A not so healthy alternative I got was the cookie butter spread and it looks like this. Let me actually taste this on camera for you. Okay, so I just popped the cookie butter open and took off the like the little plastic ceiling. So let's go ahead and taste this. You know what? This is good. It is really good. I now wish I would have gotten the chunky one only because it would have been actual chunks of cookie within it. This is not healthy. However, this would be really good with apples or if you're really into Nutella. I'm not a big Nutella person. You could use this as a substitute for Nutella if you wanted to try something a little different. They do have an ice cream with this in it at Trader Joe's and I've had the ice cream before now that I think about it. The ice cream is really good too. Okay, let's talk about these tacos and how embarrassed I am right now, guys. I bought these tacos on like Wednesday Within three days, they were gone. That's how great I think these tacos are. Pop them in the air fryer, and they're gone. I will say that a serving size is four mini tacos, and for four tacos, it's 190 calories. However, it was a meeting like eight, which still isn't that bad calorie-wise, if you think like 400 calories for, about 400 calories for 300, yeah, for eight tacos isn't that bad. And they also do have the chicken ones as well. These are really good. Someone on Instagram suggested that I dip these in guac. I didn't have any guac, so I wasn't able to do that. But these are excellent. I would definitely buy these again. Not any time in the near future, only because, again, they're not the best for you. They have quite a bit of sodium in them, so I won't be buying them soon. However, if you're looking for new things to try, put that on your list because it's bomb. And also get some guac because it's, it's a mood. Watching reality TV shows, that with the guac, mm, it's a mood. It's a mood that you need. Okay, some other snacks. My friend Corin suggested that I've already dipped into these, but these are the Trader Joe's Rich Cut Trip. <laughs> Rich Cut Trips. Wow. These are the Trader Joe's Ridge Cut Chips with sea salt. They look like this. They're just like normal uh, wavy potato chips, and this is the caramelized onion dip. So essentially like a French onion dip with cheese. Cheese, why do I keep, why do I keep wanting to say cheese? A French onion dip with um, chips. 
I am not a huge chip person. However, this is really good. I've already eaten quite a bit of this. So. One, do, one thing I do enjoy about both the dip and these chips is that they're not overly salty. At least they don't taste overly salted, which is really important when you're having essentially a salty snack. You don't want it to taste too salty. So highly recommend those if you're into chips and dip, if you like savory snacks, really, really great. Okay. I love pizza, if you don't know that, I love pizza, I love pizza, I love pizza. So I saw this and I thought I would just try it on a day where I didn't feel like cooking. This is the burrata prosciutto, is that how you say it? In arugula flatbread. Guys, you can't tell me this doesn't look great. This looks, this looks so great to me. Every day I don't eat super healthy. I try to eat healthy most days, but every day is not a super healthy day. Speaking of health, I did get some healthy things. I got these lentils. These are ready to eat warm or cold. Um, I've actually never had lentils before. Um, and I saw that these were like highly recommended on um, a couple of the Trader Joe's Instagram accounts that I got. So they just come in a box that looks like this. And basically it's just super easy. I put mine in the freezer because I don't plan on eating mine for a, a little bit. But this with some salmon and probably like a tossed salad or something, I think would be really good and a super quick and easy meal that's healthy to make. This salsa from Trader Joe's, I tried it this morning on my eggs. If you don't put salsa on your eggs, who are you? You're probably just not from Texas if you, if you don't do that. This salsa is the best. This is like a restaurant style salsa. This isn't like the jar salsa that it's like, that's not fresh. This is like someone, this, you know what I mean? Like this is like the fresh style salsa and it's so, so good. Trader Joe's has, it has a lot of salsa. So if you have a favorite, let me know. I don't tend to like pineapple or mango or like sweet salsas. I like savory salsas. So, let me know if you have a favorite or if this is your favorite. Last thing I wanted to mention is that I bought this sweet apple chicken sausage. If you know me, you know I love Trader Joe's chicken sausage. I don't like pork sausage. I don't like the way pork sausage I don't like the way pork sausage smells. It has a really weird smell to me, so I try to avoid it at all costs, but I do like chicken sausage. They have a lot of different flavors. I've tried the spicy Italian, I've tried the jalapeno, and I've tried the andouille sausage. Out of all of the flavors that I've tried, I do like the spicy jalapeno one the best, but I thought I would give this one a whirl. This is the sweet apple one, so we'll just see. Um, again, I don't normally eat like sweet sausages, but I think that this would be really good in the morning for breakfast, just like half of one of these like cut up and then a couple of eggs and maybe a slice of toast. So we will see. Hopefully this is super, super good. The haul was fun for you guys. I hope you got some new ideas of what to pick up on your next time at Trader Joe's. If you have a favorite, 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 favorite item from Trader Joe's, please let me know in the comments below. If you know me, you know I love Trader Joe's. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I have a whole Trader Joe's highlight where you can see some of my favorite items from Trader Joe's. And I'm working on the best of the best Trader Joe's video, which will be coming out in a few months. It's just gonna take me a while to kind of gather all of my thoughts for that video, but be on the lookout for that. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.